Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're all doing good out there today. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. And today I'm going to sort of continue my uh, a lot of videos we've been doing lately on cold water techniques and baits and approaches to fishing. And today I'm going to talk about what I consider the two best cold water crankbaits that you can use. We've been talking a lot about jerk baits, but there's a window for crankbaits in the wintertime. And I'm going to go over the two that I have found that work the best. <laughs> sort of give you some tips and advice on how to fish them and uh, what type of water to look for but real quick just wanted to address one thing that the uh it's, it's funny man you guys i read through some of the com some of the comments i get i'll i'll, I'll include I, I i like to do a, a a regular haters comment uh that i get on my channel here because i get a few of those and it's pretty funny but um the video i did a couple days ago on the uh cold weather gear that i wear um, there's a bunch of sensitive types out there that, that really got offended by the fact that I like to wear cotton shirts in the wintertime. And guys, I'm telling you what, everybody that's out there is dogging cotton and thinks it's bad. I haven't had any problem with it at all. I don't use it as an outer layer. I wear wool socks, I wear, you know, wool hat, something like that, a fleece, outer jacket, and rain gear. But on the inside, um, I like to wear long sleeve cotton and it, it does, you know, in a bass boat, when it's 30 degrees out, you're not sweating any at all out there and you're not getting that cotton wet. So for all you guys that, out there that were offended by my suggestion of cotton, uh, to sort of chill out a little bit. Cause, um, I've, I've been doing this for over 40 years and it seems like it works pretty good for me. And I've fished a bunch in the cold weather. I can assure you that. So anyway, I wanted to address that a little bit. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the two favorite cold water crankbaits. Um, I'm going to show them to you right off the bat, and then I'm going to explain to you why I like to fish them in the situations. And here are they, here they are. It's the Mega Bass Sonic Side Flat Side and the Rapala DT6 crankbait. Um, I know a lot of guys are going to say, well, Randy, what about the Shadrap? What about the Wiggle Wart? Yeah, those are good in colder water too, but guys, these are the two best that I have found. I've had my best success in couple different things you want to remember with them. First of all, winter is relative to where you're at the part of the country. Uh, if you're fishing wintertime uh, in the southern states, Florida, you know, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, all that type of stuff, you know, you're not, it's not the same as if you're up in northern Tennessee or Indiana or something like that. So water temperatures all make it relative. The times that crankbaits work the best in the wintertime is when it's early in the winter or late in the winter, usually. And this is this is signaled by a little bit warmer water temperature. For me, I like to use crankbaits in the wintertime when that water temperature is between like 45 and 53 degrees. That's sort of the magic window for me. And you have a lot of that in the wintertime during that time of year. Excuse me. Because here in Missouri, like right now, we're still in the around right around 50 degrees in our water temperatures, and it's mid December, so you got a pretty big window up there. The time that I don't like to use a crankbait is in the middle of the winter when the water temperatures are at their absolute coldest. I think that you have a lot more fish to spend in that time of year, but the time that these crankbaits are working good is when you have some fish that are a little bit shallower on the bottom. The thing that I like to look for them in both of them, both of these baits I fish in the similar conditions a little bit. The Shadrat, or excuse me, the DT6 is going to run a little bit deeper than the flats than the Sonic Side Mega Bass. Sonic Side is going to run probably, I use both of these, like I said, on, on usually 10 pound test line. So the Sonic Side is going to run probably four or five foot deep in that zone. And the, and the DT6 is going to run uh, anywhere between you know, four to six feet deep. It's going to six foot on a long cast. So they're, they're fairly similar to that. So the situations that I use both of them in is the first thing I'm looking for is the right water clarity. The, the best water clarity that you're going to find for cranking in the winter time, <coughs> excuse me, still trying to get out of this congestion here from the cold I had last week, but the, the premium water clarity that you're looking for is that 15 inch to about two and a half foot zone. That's when this thing works the best. The, the crankbaits are not that great when you have water visibilities of over three feet, because if you're in a body of water that's got water visibilities over three feet in, the, in this time of year, you have a lot of those fish that are suspended and, and, are, and are not up shallow. But if you've got a lake that's got a little bit more off-colored water, say for example, like a lake you fall in Alabama, 
you know, any Oklahoma Lake, like Grand Lake, something like that, or even some of the river arms in the, in the, in the clear water areas, you're going to find some water clarity in that zone. And that's the type of thing that you need to look for in the winter time. Most of the time, <clears throat> this is going to be in the, in some of the major creek arms of the lake. That's where you're going to find your little bit more off-colored water in the winter time. And another reason I like to use these crankbaits in the winter time is that most lakes, <clears throat> the lake is drawn down and the, the lake levels are lower than they are, you know, pretty much any other time of the year. And that exposes a lot more of the rock cover that you have. It exposes those rock transitions, you know, the different size of rocks, that type of stuff. And that's what I'm keying in on with both of these baits. I'm keying in on whatever rock is available on the lake. It can be a bluff. It can be rock size of a car hood. It could be the rock size of a basketball, the size of your fist, gravel, whatever. But that's what I'm looking for with it. I'm looking for those rocky areas where I can get on those stretches and make long cast parallel and sort of knock down at that three to six foot zone. That's, that's to me where they get in when that water temperature is in the mid 40s to lower 50s at this time of year. So remember that parrot fish the banks parallel, make long casts with them, um, try to get it down in that three to six foot zone, stay around rock. A um, couple other different things you're going to find out about the, the uh, crankbaits in the wintertime is they work the best on a southerly wind. You need to I like to have some type of a light to moderate wind, like a, anywhere between a five to 15 mile hour wind out of the south. Um, a little bit of overcast helps, like partly cloudy to cloudy conditions. <clears throat> it just seems like it gets those fish a little bit more active when those fish are living shallow. And uh, on top of that is um, <clears throat> the retrieve that you wanna use on this thing is a little bit different than the rest of the time. One of the things that I do with it is I weight them, the bellies. I don't have these weighted, but I'll put a suspend strip on the bellies of both of these where the things, they're pretty much neutral. And this allows me to fish the bait really slow. I can make a long cast, at what, a cast with it out there, crank it down fairly quick until it hits the bottom. And then I can just really slowly fish it at a lot of different speeds without worrying about that bait floating up because both of these baits are pretty buoyant. And if you don't weight them, they're going to float up like corks and you do not want that in cold water. So that's a really big tip I can give you guys is, you know, put some suspend strips on the belly to get those things where they don't float up hardly at all. I like them, like I said, completely uh, suspended. I don't really fish them around wood much. Um, <clears throat> neither one of these baits work very good around wood. Um, it's more of a rock deal, gravel, sand, that type of stuff. Another situation you're going to find, I'll give you one that's a little bit different, is... Um, there's two situations where each one of these really shines. The, the, the DT6 is one of the top riprap baits that you can have in the cold water situation. If you're fishing riprap, a DT6 is hard to beat. And, uh, and on the opposite end of that, if you're fishing those big chunky rocks, like, uh, rocks that are like as big as your car hood or smaller, and you have some fairly dirty water, like two foot or less visibility, those fish, a lot of times, even when that water temperature is around 50 degrees, especially in a pre-spawn, those fish will get right on the bank and take advantage of the heat of the, that those rocks hold. So I like to get on those sunny banks in late winter time when that water temperature is close to 50, and I'll make short casts right to the bank with this flat side and uh, work it, you know, in that, that first couple feet off the bank. And a lot of times I've caught a lot of big ones, like four pound and bigger fish in the late winter time on a flat side under those conditions. Also, they're pretty good grass bait. Both of these baits work pretty good over submerged milfoil or hydrilla. So all you guys that fish like the TVA lakes, like Kentucky Lake, Chickamauga, you know, even like Texas lakes like Rayburn, Toledo Bend, uh, places that have grass, Florida even, it works good. Um, it's really good in cold water to crank them over the top of that grass. So. There it is, guys. Those are the two that I found to be the best cold water crankbaits. Mega Bass Sonic Side Flat Side, uh, DT6 Rapala. Um, if you guys are interested in some, I'll include the Baitworks, Baitworks link in the description. And if you use that link, it's a good way to help support the channel here. So much appreciated with that. So anyway, guys, thanks for checking in. Uh, much appreciated. And if you haven't had a chance, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see y'all later.